All right, what's up, what's up, and good morning, because it's literally morning here in Sydney right now, and it's the 1st of August, so we will take a look at the trading post. Now, I have been checking the website, the preview that Blizzard did when it came out last night, but now we're gonna check it out how it is in-game. We also made a very cool extraction of items from the video that the July August video they made. We extracted a lot of items there that was like in the background and stuff like that, that we were like, oh man, this must be for August then, you know? So we're gonna see and compare a little bit. Did we find those items from that video? Because that's also be cool to see. Okay, okay. We are installment. It's time to go for the trading post. August 2023. Well, first things first. Before we hop into the actual trading post and see what that actually sells us, we need to take a looky looky at the cookie, the traveler's log. We have 1,400 points now. That's the maximum you can earn. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these bad boys, of these checkpoints. The final reward for this month is the Ensemble Bones of the Blood Hunter. Collect the appearance of the Bones of the Blood Hunter for glory of J Jehun. Oh man, that was not good. The cool thing about this is that I'm getting tattoos in my skin. Hey, that is badass, man. I wonder how much of this you have to wear to get these tattoos. I guess it's the chest piece that equal to it, I guess. Yeah, this one looks really cool. I like this one a lot. Okay, so that's the maximum. Uh, th that's, uh, that's the final reward when you reach 1400. We will take a look a little bit like uh, what the objectives are for this month. But before that, let's see what they have to offer, shall we? Pippin, I froze because I haven't uh, decided when I'm gonna buy him. So we're gonna start from here. Fury of the Fire Lord. Let's hide the armor so we can see a little bit how it looks proper. So this one we have seen earlier in earlier training post and now it is back. It's very good that it's back because I never bought it when it came out the first time. If you're not a paladin and you haven't done the legion thing, and got the got the legion weapon you have never seen or wore any of these kind of weapons before now you can without doing or being a paladin or doing that quest line oof cleft hoof long time ago we saw cleft hoof man that was that was freaking wall of Drenai time there is a new cleft hoof with new with new colors this cleft hoof has seen ages pass witnessing everything and patiently teaching many to ride <laughs> lol alabaster now I've been wondering a lot about these alabasters, how they're going to work out, and it looks like we finally know. So we're going to have the alabaster Thunderwing and alabaster Storm Talon. This is the Thunderwing, and this is the Storm Talon. Basically, they did the last option that I thought they would do. So I had like three options of how this one is going to turn out. Option one was that you would buy them separately, but if you buy them separately, so if you are Alliance, you can ride the Horde one, if you are Horde, you can ride the Alliance. Uh, that was option one, because we saw that in a time rift, right? Option two would be that these two would be in the same category. Like you buy one for how much this one costs? 600 probably, no, or maybe more. I don't know how much it costs. I can see that here. You buy one of these and you actually get both, Alliance and Horde. They went with option three. They sell them separately and it's also separately for Alliance and Horde. So this one is Alliance because it's a Griffin. This one is Horde because it's uh, um, whatever that face is. All right, so three mounts, that's what we got. Spirit of Competition, the Petty Petty. This one we saw in the video as well. Cost 650 if you want this bad boy. Then this one. I really want to see how this one looks in game. This is a toy, guys. Summon an ethereal warp weaver for 10 minutes to transmog your gear. Oh, oh shit. Okay, now this one, this one is not fun anymore. It is good though. It is actually good. It's the first time we're getting a toy where we can actually transmog, use it as a transmog for 10 minutes. That is amazing. We probably got other toys as well, now when I think about it. But here you have a toy for 500. You can put it out, you can transmog wherever you want, wherever you are. I thought it was a transmog. I thought that it could look like these bad boys for 10 minutes. Now that would be more awesome in my case. I would like to look like these, these bad boys for 10 minutes. But no, I wonder if everyone else in your party can also use it then. All right, and then we have Ruby Fellfire Bulwark. A shieldy shieldy. It feels like I've seen this before. I'm not sure, but there it is. Blade of Brutal Sacrifice in Hakar's name. Hakar Blade. So that's a dagger. Then we have a sword, a one-hand sword. Double the prongs, double the stabbing. There it is, man. So this one we saw from the actual video as well. Then we have another one-hand sword. Aquamarine Fellfire, Split Blade. So this bad boy 
can also double as a fork and a knife based on how you want to eat i mean we saw the first one that came out from the twitch uh, reward thingy right and now the two other ones are out as well hood of the hungry darkness i think has been here before i'm not sure but the crown of eternal winter is there it has been in the store if i remember correct and it has been also as a twitch drop hood of the hungry darkness the same so this one if you wait a little bit there we go look at that a little skelly skelly and then it goes back to normal again and then it, it, it like ping, ping pongs like that aquamarine bulwark another shield so this is the same shields before but a different color so we have uh, this red color and we have the aquamarine color a two-hand axe a razor edge reminder of the brutal cruelties of the nexus war we also have the crimson nexus crescent so we have two 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 two-hand axes this one we have seen before and this is a recolor of it. This recolor we never had before, and that is new. And then we have the Azure Scale Swan Longbow. This one's also back. I think this one came the first month, if I'm correct. This bow. I really, really like this bow. I bought it directly. And now it is back. The problem is the stuff that is back that I already have, I actually can't see the prices of them. It would be nice to see what the prices was back then. Or how, what the prices are, even after you bought it. All right. And then we got another dagger. Short of Frozen Secrets. A point to remind of the past strife within the blue dragon flight. There it is. 200. Ember Court Sword Gloves. So these are back guys with a different color. We got a white one before and now we got this red one. Only for 100. Then we got an ensemble. Wonder Azure Trappings. The classical hood back thingy. Well, not a hood thingy, but a scarf thingy. The scarf back with the uh, different colors. I like that we get that every month, more or less, with different colors. We also got the red version as well. Looks amazing. And of course, with those comes the hoodies as well. So the back and the hoodie for the blue one, which means also the back and the hoodie for the red one. Queen's Conservatory Ball Gloves. Another one of these, but now it's blue. So the theme, what is the theme? Like red and blue? We have red, we have blue of these. We had white earlier on the trading post. Grunt's Buckler. Another shield. Sword and board for the horde. Okay. And the Lions version of it. City Guard Keter Shield. Look at that. A little bit damaged there as well. It's been around, man. It's been around. It's got only 50 bucks each. All right. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. So that's what we got for the trading post this month, guys. The problem is, I showed you the, the class sets and the class set and the class weapons coming out for each month as well. The problem we're going to have now is how much will we save to be able to buy the stuff we want. The good thing, though, is that we already know now when stuff will come out and what month will come out so we can plan a little bit like economically of the trader tender wise what we can buy and not buy but i like those the things that i want though especially more more like specific for me they're quite cheap so I, you know i gotta buy this cheap stuff at least now the cool thing is we checked we extracted from the video what items we could have we can see on this trading post and we literally digged in like in every corner every background and everything of, of of that video they made of the Ju july august one these are obvious of course because they showcase it like very 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 nice which was the pet it was the the transmog that we get as a reward and it was the two mounts and also got like 200 extra tenders which we did now now on the background, we saw this sword. And the sword is actually there. So this is literally the sword we saw in that background. The shield, the shield we saw as well. And the shield is there. We saw Pimpin, or Pippin. But Pippin was just there for funsies. He's actually not here. Because this is what I've frozen. This is not uh, this month. So that one was a no-no. Then we saw something back here in the background. Some kind of axe or something. But I actually don't see that anywhere here. So that one was that one was actually a no-no. It was not it was not there. We go down here. The hood and the back. It is there. The red version. We also saw further in the background the blue version. As you see there. And those are the ones that came out. Which are these, the blue version and the red version of it. And then we had the maybe ones, a big maybe, because it was so weird that they showed that. They showed the toy they got from the Twitch drop. They showed the dance floor. They showed the snail in one of, in the video, which was so weird. So I put it as, as a maybe. And yeah, those, those did not come, of course. All right, so there it is, guys. Now you need to do a lot of planning. Do you want the class sets? Do you want the class weapons? Whew, 400 for each class set. Ah, I forgot the prices. I think 500 for... for the weapon sets for each class as well so think a little bit how you're gonna do this what you're gonna buy what you're not gonna buy what you're gonna save up because now is the time we need to save and rethink however we will see if we're gonna get some more trade attender in other shape or form during during autumn and it feels like we are all right guys until next time